The subconscious mind, one of the many unseen phenomenons of the human brain. The dictionary definition of the subconscious mind goes a little something like the part of the mind that affects one that affects and influences one's feelings, memories, beliefs, and fears. So if you think about your fears or beliefs, they're something that you don't consciously try to remember, but because of their importance, they're directly embedded through your subconscious mind. So now you know a little bit more about the subconscious mind. Time to think about your daily life. You've probably gone inside a mall and seen a certain brand that you really enjoy buying from. Now think back, where did your obsession with this brand even start and what part did the brand play in this? Every brand uses something called marketing and this could be on a smaller scale or a bigger scale and this just depends on the brand's popularity. But what they do is they actually manipulate you without you even getting a small hint about what's going on. Your opinions could change in the blink of an eye, depending on what you've seen on TV or what you've read on the internet, as many people do these days. Many brands have many different ways of breaking into the subconscious mind, but the most popular way is using experts. Picture this, an expert with a very professional aura is talking about the advantages and life-changing benefits of this product. And this is specifically known to build human trust in many people. Some of these experts may truly be real and these products could have life-changing benefits, but some will just make up fake, serious sounding names that sound like they come from a respectable institution. But are these institutions really there? Are these people experts or actors? Believe it or not, the subconscious mind actually controls 95% of your life. And science actually estimates that 95% of our brain activity is unconscious, which means that the decisions we make or our emotions and behavior are also depending on the 95% of our brain activity that is beyond our own awareness. Now, this is a weird event to think about because it's all technically just random, everything that you feel or everything that you think about. But this isn't all completely random. This is all through a past experience that you've had, and so whenever you experience this again, again in your life, you would get a sort of deja vu feeling. Big brands or small brands use something called manipulative advertising, which is a type of persuasive advertising that involves putting the product and pitching it to such an extent that the customer cannot refuse to invest in it. So when you're watching a specific ad on TV, you obviously don't think, oh, they're probably manipulating me. You are so invested in this ad that you look at all the amazing things, but you don't think about what could be a disadvantage of buying this product as well. Promotions are another thing that so many brands use because the human mind is so invested in promotions and sales that this is one of the easiest tactics to get customers. So I want you to imagine the Black Friday sale is here and everything is being sold at ridiculously low prices. 50% off banners are plastered everywhere and that's when you walk in and buy things you would probably never need. And this is very beneficial for the merchants and the only reason is because they are technically selling more. Another big one is buy more, pay less. And this is doing the complete opposite of what it says. Because you are just spending money once again on things you will never use. And your brain is sort of tricking you into buying these things because they're at a lower price. But in turn, you're buying more things, so it would be equal anyways. Lastly, emotions. Companies love to refer to positive emotions, to be able to build something they call the brand image. This is why majority of the advertising you see on TV is purely entertainment, and they sometimes don't even look like they're trying to sell anything. They're telling such a touching story that you would share it with everyone you know and watch it over, over and over again. And why not? This is when the brand gets something called free publicity. As you would probably never think about this brand negatively after watching such an entertaining or heartfelt advertisement. 
Fear and anxiety are also emotions that some brands toy with. So if you see phrases like last chance or last piece in stock or promotion ends soon, these make you feel preoccupied in the sense that you soon won't have the chance to buy anything and so you will make an ill-conceived purchase. The subconscious mind is so incredible but also easily manipulated. But this is why our brain is so interesting and unique. One little thing you do could change the course of your life forever. And I hope today from this talk, you've been able to understand how your favorite brands may not be as innocent as they seem, but also how amazing our human mind actually is. Thank you.